What is up guys, it is Ugly Strew here, and welcome back to my let's play of Disjunction. We're moving on to map 3, Neural Nest. This map is significantly harder than the last. In some points it almost seems unfair. But the layout of it is probably one of the most complex ones I've ever played. Um, <clears throat> and you will definitely see why. This map is the most non-linear map I've ever played. Um, usually there's some sort of pattern that needs to be followed, but this one, none at all. I'm also not a huge fan of the soundtrack of it, and to be 100% honest with you, I'm not exactly enjoying this level that much. It's probably the least I've wanted to make a, a YouTube video in a long time. So, first thing you need to do is ride this to the top and take out the hit scan enemies. Obviously take out the imps too if they're in the way, but they're not the number one threat. Number one threat is indeed the hit scan enemies. And there are several of them. The way that I prefer to take this map is this route first. I like to jump right in here, uh, come down here, grab this, this is secret number one. You can grab this to the top. After we grab that secret number one, we have a little bit better of a layout to go after the rest of the enemies. The problem is that we're not given a really good weaponry to do this. So you're finding yourself fighting very large monsters in a very narrow area. If you're lucky you can sort of get around, grab the berserk pack, and maybe punch them, but I don't feel too confident. <laughs> Doing this route usually uh, breaks them up a little bit too, so you're not fighting so many of them at one time with just a regular shotgun. You're not given the super shotgun until, you know, down the line. I don't even know how I want to do this. I'm going to have to make a run for it because I need more, uh, need more shotgun shells. If you come around here, there will be a chain gunner that you'll want to kill just so you can pick up this weapon. I might be saving a little bit, just because this is a really long map, and honestly, I just want to break in between these uh, these segments. Right, so, the next thing we'll do is take these guys out. Use everything he possibly can. Down here, there's nothing of interest except for some ammunition, which I almost forgot about. We'll just ignore those guys for now. What then we'll do is we'll come down here, and we need to get the Mancubus and the Hell Knight to infight, just because we don't have any ammo to deal with all of them. Let's sort of do it again here. Did we grab that Berserk Pack? I can't even remember. Yes, we did. Okay. Because we're going to need it. Once we jump down, Pinkies Galore. Which, because we have our Berserk Pack, this is the best way to conserve ammo. And these are the best enemies to uh, to fight with the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, with the Berserk Pack. Take every little ammo bonus you can because you'll need all of them. I'm coming around here. Maybe a bunch more bullshit like this. Hoping I just have enough ammo to do all this. I should. So hit scan enemies around here. Don't worry too much about the revenants. What we're gonna do is just run right for the rocket launcher. And right back. We can get a nice little vantage point at the, uh, so that way we're not getting completely decimated by the revenants. Really, just have to be careful with the Baron of Hell up there. 
Whatever you do, do not hit that switch and ride the elevator to the top. Just don't fucking do it. You're gonna make this map that much harder on yourself. We could wait till later to take this Baron out, but we are not gonna do that because when we actually are given the opportunity to kill him close combat, um, it's not gonna be funny. It's the last thing we're gonna need. I'm actually gonna do the same and I'm gonna take out the Hell Knights now. Okay. Okay, this part's gonna be fucking fantastic. Um, I guess we'll keep the chain gun out for this. Jump down immediately, just avoid everything. Come around here, immediately go right for that Kekity man. Because honestly, this map is way too difficult to be dealing with uh, all of that shit <clears throat> in a shorter period of time. I'm not dealing with all of that garbage down there at close quarters with not even a super shotgun yet. We could get the super shotgun. As a matter of fact, it's right in front of us. But I don't feel comfortable doing that just yet. I want everything fucking dead. to your left, just ignore everything down below. For now. Oh, here's some stuff in fighting. Oh, that was good. Good job, Rocking Tron. Wow, that was actually really, really convenient. Now we're given access to that switch, which will actually open up the red key, but I can't grab that yet. I am not armed enough. I'm not, not armed well enough for that just yet. Okay. Um, I guess we can get secret number two now. We have to do this in like one swift motion. Boom. Very, very difficult secret to grab. But, um, here's that. Okay, uh, what exactly do I want to do next? Do not go up there. Same thing, you're just gonna make the map so much harder for yourself. I guess we'll just continue to go around here. If we open that, that will bring us sort of back to the start. I don't want to do that yet. Mmm. Actually, yes I do. Reason being, I want to kill enough of it now, and there's a uh, there's enough ammunition out there to help me out with the next part. Only thing is the chain gunners. They're definitely a problem. If I want to tackle anything else out here just yet. Nope. I'm gonna wait. I'm just kill him. Alright. Let's go back this way. And because I don't exactly remember where I positioned anything, no, we were going the right way. I'm just gonna save here first, just in case I die. I can come back here. Grabbing that will reveal two revenants and an arch vial. Oh, that was a very, very easy arch vial fight. Always happens when I save. If I don't save, that would have been quite the challenge. And we're sort of back to where we started. Uh, we came up here, and we took that route last time. 
We're instead going to come left. That's going to bring us back down here. See so how everything's sort of intertwined. It's kind of nice in that way. You have to be cautious in here. Whoa, that was really bad. Really bad time to run out of ammo, actually. Um. I don't know what I want to do next. There's no more aim, uh, no more health out there. I'm gonna come up here first. We can hit that. Follow this down. Grab cell packs. Jump down. Grab our plasma rifle. I'm not going to hit the switch around there, or that switch just yet, because that's going to make everything more, you know, more and more difficult. See, I have, like, my own sort of process of doing things, and it, it, unfortunately it's going to involve a lot of backtracking, but, you know, I'm doing what I have to do to freaking survive here. <laughs> Be careful. We have six rockets, that should be good. Come around here, arch file. Wow, that was just enough. Okay, so there's all that. I'm trying to think on where the other two secrets are. That's one of them. I grabbed the rocket launcher and the... Okay, I know where they all are. We're gonna come back down here and grab it, actually. I need to come back up here, though, for that, so I just have to remind myself. I could have done this before, but I am not very good at fighting revenants. We all know this. Hit that. that and that will actually take us back here I just want to make sure everything is dead I have as much as I possibly could secret number three if we use that panel come around here mega armor much needed mega armor okay um what do we want to do next oh yes I know what we have to do um what was the best way to get there uh, I can't do it through there yet. Oh, this map is so complex. Yeah, this way will work. Okay. Yeah, everything is pretty much intertwined now, but... I don't want to go wake something up that I forgot to wake up and just run into problems, so... This is also a difficult part, so I'm gonna save once again. Hit that switch. Come down. It's a Whoa. Okay. So this kind of just connects us back to the start as well. Thing is, though, now we have this. Hit that switch. Do a 180. Two of these guys in here. I want to like sort of conserve as many cells as I possibly could. Okay. Secret number four is down here. If we just sort of strafe run across. Come back here, there would be a cell sphere. Okay. Um last thing we need to do. Oops. 
Yeah, I have jumping enabled, but I haven't used it, so I can turn it off if you guys really want me to. Um, I don't remember this trap. I'm going to save once again, just in case. I remember there is a trap. Okay, yes, I remember that. There's two revenants. And... Two pain elements. Oh, uh, three revenants. I don't know where the other pain elemental is, though. Okay. Alright, so with both keys... We can go back to... This way. these and here well, I don't even need to take that soul sphere I'm wondering if I could save that this is like the best I've ever done at this map to be 100% honest with you I'm really hoping I don't die here this outside area looks very familiar yeah I'm wondering if I can just come back and grab that after yeah, does this look familiar It's like the, oh god, I touched the spider. What I like to do is the same thing I did f like uh, in that uh, Ancient Aliens episode where I just ran in circles and eventually just killed everything. Granted, there was like six cyber demons when I was doing that. This seems to be a little bit easier, but it's not as much space to run around and it's much easier to get tracked, as you can see there. cells, you can pick them up as needed. That's very convenient. Okay, ow. Before I go hitting anything else, I just want to make sure everything is dead. Well, that wasn't very difficult. Okay. This map is so complex, but not really in a good way. I'm not a huge fan of it. Just gotta go around hitting all these switches now. I think there was one more I had to hit. Yep, this one here. Alright. Take your plasma rifle. Keep your back towards this way. There will indeed be imp scratching at you. But no one cares. <laughs> because they're not a big priority. Archvile is first. Do the same thing here. Trying to move too much. We're missing one enemy. He's right here. Hit that switch. That'll actually allow you to get back to the beginning. And other than that, we are all set. We finished this map in one try. And pretty smooth, too. I gotta say, there weren't many mistakes. I am very, very satisfied with this run. I'm very, I think I'm very satisfied with this. I apologize if my commentary seems a little, uh, <clears throat> melancholy, I, I guess. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of sleepy. Wow. Alright, I did it, guys. That was pretty good. Um, I definitely think you guys are going to need practice with this if you're playing this, um, this wad blind, because 
this map, it's it's ridiculously complex. You have to sort of develop a uh, uh, a huge roadmap in your head so that way you know exactly what to attack first. But you also need to know what triggers what, so that way you don't end up getting cornered and end up getting your ass kicked. Um, those two elevators that I mentioned, do not take them, and you will have just as smooth of a run as I do. If you guys know of an easier way to play this map, feel free. Definitely let me know, because I think the route that I took was, uh, was the easiest. So. That's it, guys. See you next time at map four. Aqua Regia. I don't know where uh, Floatrand was getting these names. They're really unique, though. Okay, take care, guys. Bye-bye.